Hi guys! So I'm back with another video to share um, a fall project that I was working on. It is a banner and um, I used, uh, I'll show what I used in just a second. Um, I was watching, I think it was um, the Tara 148 that had done a banner um, and used her rosette dye. I think that was the video I watched. Um, and it inspired me to get out that dye, which I love, and uh, I hadn't used it in a while, and make a banner for fall. So um, this is, uh, I'll show it quickly what I used. These are the ribbons that I used. This is uh, from Mike, oh, they're both from Michaels, I think from the Celebrate It collection, and this one is Harvest. Uh, I guess this was from the Harvest collection, like in the fall section where I think everything is on sale now. Um, and then I use this uh, Dynamics, let me see if it says, Cross Stitch Circle Stacks, which look like that. Wait, that's wrong. <laughs> I put the wrong sticker on there. I'm sorry. These are, I think they're scallop stitch scallop circles. I'm sorry. I don't remember. The, this is the wrong uh, sticker that I left on there. So, and then I use this die. Um, this is, I don't remember when this was released, but it's Snowflake Medallions 3D by Brenda Walton. And here's the number. And, um, I use this year round. It doesn't look like a snowflake, I guess, unless you really embellish it like a snowflake. So um, this is a great dye to have year round. Okay, so I used those. And then, I don't know, about a month or two months ago, uh, Michael's had a, you know, hot by paper pad um, extravaganza, I guess. <laughs> like they do from time to time and uh, these are the the papers in that pad um, these are beautiful beautiful foiled fall um, papers and this one actually has some rose gold instead of just the gold foiling browns and blues flowers leaves cut aparts so that's the paper pad that I used Oh, okay. For the letters, I used um, this Maggie Holmes uh, gold alphabet. Now, I don't remember. Oh, this is from the Shine collection. So I don't know if it's still available, but that's the number. And it's the uh, Maggie Holmes uh, Shine for crepe paper. Okay. And then I used... These, um, I think these are all on sale now, but it's recollections and there are like the orangey colors, the more whites and beiges, and then the browns. And then these go with the more orange tones. So I didn't use these, but I used these. Okay. So I'll show you. And what I did for the banner pieces I just um, weaved this cording through the holes. Okay, and then knotted it here on the end, and then here is where I put the little ribbons in between. Just made simple bows and had them just for a little extra. Um, so here is the F, and then here are some layered leaves with the flower. Then I use the glitter paper, and here's that MFT, um, the stacks, circle stacks. And then I use some twine, and I just kind of like, sort of messily, messy, <laughs> messily threw it down, um, hot glued this on top of it so that it would stay, and then added everything else. So that's the F. Then there's the ribbon. Here's the A. So I just kind of staggered the leaves. I put the leaves down here this time. I put some of um, the loose flowers. 
layered those on top of each other and then put this flower here again with the twine I just kind of wrapped it loosely and uh, kind of wanted it to sort of be messy although that goes against like everything in me <laughs> so um, here's the 1L with the leaves again here I'll bring it closer and it's really pretty because these leaves have gold foiling for um, the words and I love the way that um, glitter paper just kind of makes all the paper pop because the paper I left plain I didn't use any foiled paper and then here's the other L again with another flower this one's a wood grain flower from that pack um, leaves again the foiling and just like this is a really cool leaf because it's like a skeleton leaf um, glued on top of a paper leaf like a mulberry paper leaf so just adds a little extra texture and uh, again with the twine here's the end of this one the cording and uh, the hook to um, hang it and again just a simple simple bow there so um if you have any questions just let me know you can make these rosettes without the die you can make them without the punch there is a martha stewart punch as well um, if you guys want to see it i'd be more than happy to share i did share the smaller rosettes like the one or one and a half inch ones so it's kind of the same concept but a, a just a wider piece of paper um, but if you have any other questions or you want me to show something, um, share anything, uh, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, video and um, I will see you soon. Bye guys.